Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a GitHub page to host your Leaflet web map. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So we just go to github.com, and if you don't have an account, you can sign up and get one here for free. I'm just going to log into mine. And once we're here, the first thing we need to do is to create a repository. And if you click onto the screen button here, you could do so. So it says create a new repository. This is my username, slash, and then repository name. As you start typing, GitHub will make sure that you're not duplicating the repository name. So I'm just gonna say leaflet web map, and it's available. Okay, so down here, you could also put a description about this repository. You could always add this information later if you like. Uh, we leave it as public, so we can share it amongst other people. You could always keep it as private if that's something you don't want to do. But if we want to share off a, a, a link to somebody to view this map, we need to uh, keep it public. And we can initialize a readme file, and you can always add a description to that later. And let's just keep these as a default. And then we create the repository. And this is our repository homepage, so to speak. And here's that readme file. OK, so here we could add a file by either creating a new file or uploading files. In this example, we're going to keep this very simple. We'll just create a file and we'll add that HTML code into this GitHub page. So the example we're going to use is the simple map I created not too long ago. And if I start left clicking, I, I get points on the map. So I'm going to have this hosted on my GitHub page. So I'm just going to select all the code and copy. And add file, I'm going to say create new file. And here, it has to be index.html. And that's in my main folder. And we'll come back to this in just a second. So again, I paste, I copied all that code, and I'm just going to paste it right down below here. Okay. If I scroll down, you have to hit this commit new file to save it. And here's that index.html file and right now it's been edited if I click onto that I could view the code again and if I wanted to edit in here I simply click right here edit this file you see the format changes just slightly to show you that you're in edit mode and when you're done you could commit those changes but I'm just gonna cancel because I didn't do anything at this point okay and we could go back to our repository homepage here. The next thing we need to do is go over here to settings, pages. Now under here, where it says branch, we want to make sure that the main branch is the default branch. So what I did, I just selected that and click on save. Okay. So now, if we, actually it just takes a moment, it takes a moment for GitHub to actually create that page. So we'll come right back to this in just a second. Pages, and here we go. Your site is live at, and here is the URL. So if I click onto this hyperlink, this tab right here will be overwritten by that new web page, or what I like to do is click onto this button, visit site, and it creates a new tab in your, your browser there. So here's my leaflet web map, and if I left click, I can start creating those markers like I did before. Okay, so this is the URL that you could copy and send over to whomever to access the same web map uh, publicly. And for some reason, if you want to 
delete this whole uh, repository. You can just be sure you're under settings here and you scroll all the way down into this danger zone. You could delete this repository, agree to it, understand that you know it won't be um, you can't bring it back after it's deleted. And then what you would do is confirm by typing in the name of your repository here. And you can simply just copy that, paste, and now it's deleted. So I hope you guys found this useful. And as always, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. As always, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate that. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.